Hello everyone, welcome back again. And in today's tutorial concerning Julia and then data analysis in Julia, learn about how to import data from tables using data frames. So we have maybe you have data in the format of Excel, spreadsheet, that I can be CVS, CSV or SLX, or any data format in a spreadsheet like this, or you have your data in a test format like this, and you want to import it and use it. So one of the ways you can do it is let's go with D DF right. Or DFTST, and then you go with read tables. Read, read table, right? So this read table takes two arguments. So the first of the argument is that the path to the file or the file itself. So if it's the same folder, so it's because it's in the same folder, we go with sample data, then dot TST. Extension is important because you have to know the extension. And then you go with this format, it just to just give us the rule but mostly because if it is in a format of a test like this you can bring a separator to separate all the tabs so that it perfectly well without this it's going to give us it's going to tell you that it saw it like this but it's not going to be able to read it perfectly for you so one of the ways of solving this is to use the word separator right and then it's called to then you put the tab there the tab which is single argument a uh, single quote and then t so with this format, if you go with this like this, that that's really perfectly for us. And we have 20 rows, 8 columns. So that is one of the ways. So if I go back and check with this DFT, DFTXT, that has printed it perfectly for us. So this is one of the ways you can read a table which you have imported, which is if it is a test format, TST format. Okay, so let's move on again to another format. So the same format, unlike other programming languages, which are supposed to specify as read CVS or read TST, this one just goes straight away with read tables. It supports different formats, all the formats. DFT. For this one, we're going to go with DF CSV, right? And then you go read table. Table, and then same format, sample data dot cs csv so it's just going to read it perfectly for us so 20 rows and 80 columns for this one so that is the basics about how to import data from tables so that's one of the ways you can do it the other way you can do it is you can also import it online so for example if you have it online you have to first of all install this package using request for it so if you have a request, then you follow for it in the centers. So I'll be trying it perfectly. So how to do it is like, let's say you have a URL, like this is going to be our URL data, right? Our website that you have the data. So we'll be choosing something like this, which is fbi.government. So you just copy this. That is where your file is. And then you go with this, right? Use request dot get streaming. And then into bracket you put your URL there, so it's going to put my URL there, and then it's going to read it perfectly for us. So after reading it for us, it's going to store it. So if you want to read it, you just go with. If you want to read this one that you have stored, so it's going to go to the source, this URL link, and then get the file for you so that you can just read it. And that's one of the ways of doing it. So I want to read it. It's going to be DEF URL. Yes, and it can be any name, and then I'll go with read table and then this name here we're going to pass this information inside this place and then to be able to read it perfectly for us so that's one of the other ways you can also do it if you're having online resources so thank you for watching if you have any comment or questions you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit and then please don't forget to subscribe Thanks again and stay blessed.